What is skill stacking and why is it important? So in this video, I'm going to talk about skills stacking and why it's important. And before doing that, you can go over to adamfire.com, especially if you're an expert and a high net wealth individual and see how I can help you and indeed are currently helping people like you uh, presently. Now, skills stacking. I was reading a book and watching some online content about what's called st uh, skills stacking. And I thought about this issue before, but I've never thought about that phrase before. And what I thought about is there's two ways people can get a lot of traction when it comes to their careers and their financial well-being. One way is to get very, very good at one particular skill. So, for example, Lionel Messi is one of the best football players ever in the history uh, of the game, for example. Or um, Richard Dawkins is one of the best biologists ever. And there was a book uh, written by Malcolm Gladwell. It's a little bit... Uh, basic in terms of some of the assumptions, but he came up with the uh, 10,000 hour rule. He basically said that if you get hours of practice in, you can become great in one particular thing. Now, obviously that's one way of doing things. You don't even need to go to the extremes of being as good as Messi or, or, or Dawkins in your field to, to kind of get that good. You can easily get inside the top 1% eventually by just practicing and practicing and practicing. However, Another way of doing it is getting inside the top, say, 5 to 25% in three or four different skills. I'll give you an example. If you are, I don't know, an average doctor who is specialized in removing cysts or growths, if you do what so-called Dr. Pimple does on her YouTube channel and you start a marketing YouTube channel where you show people how you do those procedures, even if you only go inside the top 10% of digital marketing people uh, in the world, or even the top 25%, and added to that you add one or two other skills, that doctor could become a top 1% doctor in terms of how much they're earning, for example. And likewise, there are other people out there who all they do is they get inside the top 10% when it comes to negotiation, the top 20% when it comes to public speaking, the top 20% when it comes to sales or marketing, the top 20% when it comes to technical skills. But when you add those three or four or five skills together, even though they're only inside the top 10, 20 or 25% in each skill, they actually become the top 1% in their industry because they are stacking skills that are complementary on top of each other. Another example would be languages. Uh, languages in isolation are no longer that important or useful. Yes, it's good for your uh, you know, mental ability. It can help you in many different ways. It's very uh, nice to speak in a second language, for example, if you tried really hard. However, just from a purely financial point of view, obviously now with online translations, it's not very profitable. A translator does not make much money. They might only make 5 or $10 an hour in many cases on online portals like Upwork.com or Fiverr.com. But if that same person who speaks the language, the second language very well, becomes good at marketing themselves and selling themselves and negotiating how much they're paid, they could actually start earning a hell of a lot of money. Imagine somebody who is a former translator who has hundreds of thousands of social media followers. Even if that person isn't the best on social media, that person could easily become a top one percenter in their particular industry. So actually, if you stack numerous skills together, it can be incredibly useful, it can be very profitable, and it's another way of doing things rather than just being very good at one thing. Anyways, I'm, I'm very, very pleased and positive uh, to say that I believe I've picked the right one. Um, the results um, in the last couple of years have, have, have overreached my expectations by far. Um, and um, I see no reason um, why it should not continue. Of course, I can highly recommend uh, him as your financial advisor for now and for the future. Because hesitating is uh, missing out. Obviously, the best result in market right now is Adam.